The first question, uh, do you think General John Kelly will have any trouble getting Ivanka, Jared Kushner, or even Bannon to defer to him? Well, you know, no one, including Donald Trump's father, Fred Trump, has ever been able to rein in Donald Trump. I've known Donald Trump for 35 years, and he's never been different than he is today. So even if General Kelly can rein in Ivanka and Jared and Bannon and all and the entire White House staff, he's not going to be able to rein in Donald Trump, who believes by being unpresidential is how he became president. So what you're going to see is a president who continues, as he has in the past, to be unconventional, but a White House staff that's going to be very disciplined. And it should be very interesting to see how this works out. So this whole idea that the president said on the campaign that he was going to pivot, forget that. All right, let's talk about some of John I, Kelly's top priorities first. He'll need to figure out a way to kind of calm the chaos mm -hmm. or at least the perceived chaos surrounding the president and the White House staff. Part of that plan may have included dumping Anthony Scaramucci as a communications director. Now, the New York Post celebrated Scaramucci's removal today. He was reportedly axed as you may recall, for that very vulgar tirade that he unleashed last week against Ryan's Priebus and Steve Bannon. Look, the president certainly felt uh, that Anthony's comments were inappropriate for a person in that position. Um, and he didn't want to burden General Kelly. Scaramucci's ouster followed a week of disarray at the White House after both Reince Priebus and Press Secretary Sean Spicer resigned from their jobs. Now, the big question is, Ed, who will replace them? And what role will Chief of Staff John Kelly have in choosing that person? Well, it's a good question. You know, Anthony Scaramucci was sort of a metaphor about everything that was going wrong in the White House. He was an amateur who had no political experience, and this has been a White House filled with people who have had no previous experience. He uh, was so arrogant that he didn't know what he didn't know, which is always a terrible thing. And finally, he um, reinforced Donald Trump's worst instincts. Now, compare him, say, with Kellyanne Conway, who's in the running for mm -hmm. that job. When she goes on television, you don't hear her um, trying to make herself more important. She, she always talks about how great Donald Trump is. And I think that's a key to that job. You have to realize that the star in that White House is no one but Donald Trump. This is also a warning, I think, to General Kelly. Now, if General Kelly starts getting great press, which he already has started, and he so, suddenly emerges as the star in the White House, I'm not so sure Donald Trump is going to like that. Why do you say that? Everybody's said that before, that he, he likes to be the showman of the group. Yes, he always has been. He's, that's his personality. And after all, he is president of the United States. He's the only person in that whole White House who was actually elected to the office. Some people uh, With, theorize course, that Scaramucci was let go because he was kind of stealing the limelight. Do you think that played any role in his departure? I think so. I think at first, Donald Trump, from what we've read and from what I know about Donald, Mr. President Trump, mm -hmm. I think he kind of liked Scaramucci's, uh, you know, blatant uh, attacks and kind of macho attitude. But when he realized that this was something that was not going down well, not only with his base, especially with women in his base because of that profanity, but also with the Republican Party, I think he then stepped away from Scaramucci. I think it was a brilliant move on the part of General Kelly to say, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the mooch. Okay. And I think it was a wise thing.